Hey, y'all, I have another Google Classroom quick tip for you. So when you are assessing student work from Google Classroom, just like this, and you open up the student's file in, say, Google Docs, Slides, wherever it is, you will see this workflow. That's what I call it. I call it the Google Classroom workflow. And this sidebar allows us to see all the files and to leave private comments here for students. And these are the same as the private comments that we have in Google Classroom. We also have a comment bank. And the bank is great for those comments we use over and over again so we don't have to constantly keep typing the same feedback. So one thing that I suggest is to add a resource link into that comment, like here for comma splice. So for instance, if I have found a comma splice in the student's work, and this doesn't have to be just about writing or grammar, this can be whatever type of information students need to review. So I can click on comment and leave this where it's directly tied with the sentence and just simply copy this to my clipboard and paste it right here. Now, once I click comment, that link is now clickable and that student can review it and know exactly what it is tied to. So just a quick reminder, when you leave a private comment, it's a general overall everything in the paper kind of comment. These types of comments that we can leave also outside of Google Classroom connections where we're just leaving comments in Google types of files, docs, sheets, slides, and just add those links. So just a quick reminder, you, you can add links there that are clickable and great resources for students.